Hi, today I wanted to talk about change. Change sometimes can be super exciting and fun, and then other times it can be dreaded. Like we might have to go through some experiences that we don't want to ex experience or we don't want to look at, and that's pretty much called life. Sometimes we have somebody helping us and our unconscious mind helps us as well to look at things that maybe we have tried to escape for years, push down, that pretended didn't exist. And during those times or experiences that happen, events that happen in our life, it's usually for our highest good to help us change and get on a path that's more suited for where we're to go in this journey that we're called, that's called life. Now, I can, I can really speak from experience that that is not always a lot of fun. But I also know that sometimes it can be amazing. So let me give you an example that's pretty recent. Um, in 2012, I became a, a foster OT practitioner and uh, it was an advanced level four. It was super, super rewarding for me um, because I had stayed home with my children and um, this was for me, like my, my kids were grown. And so doing what really filled my heart and made me feel so happy was just a very rewarding um, time. And so for three years, things started to change like it was incredible. Um, I just, I started to um, experience things I had not had. And this change was amazing. Like, because I was doing so much working on the, the changing my things of the past using the tapping modality, I was having this amazing career opportunity. I was having connection with friends. My relationships were getting better. I had money that I had not had before that was coming in and all these opportunities with work and a full-time business. And I was traveling all over the world and doing sessions with clients. And this was so, just so amazing. And I got to go to Habilitat four times and work with the residents there. And it was, it was the greatest dream ever. And then about three years later, after I still have a full-time business six years later, but so after about three years, some new change started to come in my life. And this kind of change was not very exciting and it certainly wasn't fun. And it kind of came in a lot of different areas. It wasn't just one area. And so there were things that I needed to look at. There were things that I didn't know I needed to look at, and yet I knew something was not quite right inside. Like there was something still needed to be addressed. Some changes were happening that maybe I didn't really want to change, like friendships were not continuing to stay the same. And, and um, so, so, so some of that was hard because it was like, oh no, you know, this was such a great time and so amazing. And, and I thought, what's going wrong? What, what, I'm still working on myself. I'm still tapping. I'm still, you know, even addressing, using different, some other modalities. I'm, you know, feeling like I still have a full-time business. I love my business. Why are, why is this change coming? I mean, what am I doing wrong? And so now we're going to skip up to 2018. And so in these last couple of years, um, what I noticed is it's not that any of that was bad or I did anything wrong. It just really has meant that it's time for me to also do some other things that are important for me to accomplish and learn and grow and, and to, to heal inside of me. And so, you know, when I, when I think back over the last couple of years where I thought, what am I doing wrong? This isn't, this isn't good. Um, what I'm seeing is, but other opportunities that were amazing came in my life. And one of them is the summit. I know a lot of you know my story, but I mean, that's just something I would have never even considered doing. And yet I felt a push from the universe to do it until I finally agreed. And so, and that gave me opportunities to meet, you know, amazing people all over the world. I mean, amazing leaders, helping people. I've had opportunities to, to do interviews. I've had opportunities to go, like seriously, every bit of this change was so uncomfortable for me. It was out of my comfort zone in every degree. And yet it was the right thing for me. And I saw some of the things that I could, I could do pretty good. And um, then it also, you know, it, even though it was difficult, it also took me to <laughs> some areas that I didn't want to go. Like the stuff inside that I still feel, I even hate to even say this word out loud, but suppressed. 
And I was like, what? I have been under, I have had 20 some years. Well, most of it was talk therapy and I didn't get a ton of change from that. But I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I have worked on myself so much. Are you kidding me? There's still something. And yet the something in the last little bit, um, you know, I was addressing it, working on it, but at the same time, I was thinking, oh my gosh, this is so terrible. And then I'm looking back now and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, <laughs> this, this is, this has taught me so much. Oh my gosh. It's going to help me help clients. Um, that have a lot of my history and just in general, you know, with, with the trauma and, Oh, you know, I'm thinking, Oh my gosh, I've learned so much in the last two years. Well, that's the thing with change. You have these amazing time periods that, that is so wonderful. And then it's, I believe it's God, the universe, you know, and our unconscious mind saying, okay, it's time now. If you need to take the next step forward, upward. And if we'll listen and we do something about it, we will continue to grow and get better and better and better. And that's the whole purpose in my mind for the journey in this life. And yeah, things are great. And it doesn't mean that what you did, and especially like in my case, like there's something wrong that, that couldn't have been further from the truth. But what it meant was, is that I needed this amazing stuff going on, but then it was time to get out of my comfort zone and to do some new things and to keep trying. The good news is, is six years later, I do still have a full-time business. I love what I do. I love helping people. And yet I'm finally, I believe, ready to um, go out of my comfort zone again. And so this is gonna be the, the out of my comfort zone. A good friend of mine has recently helped me to see this, but you know, I have also spent a little bit of too much time in my comfort zone of being quiet and not sharing certain things because it would make uh, like people, some people uncomfortable, or I would, I was afraid that uh, if I did a certain area where I know I'm supposed to work and help people, that people would like not want to hang with me or be with me because there would be this judgment. There is a part of me that still feels that, <laughs> but at the same time, I feel like right now it doesn't matter. I have to do this. And so for me, this is another period of time and change that I need to go forward in a brand new way in helping people. But it's like one step further of what I have been able to do from the past. And so one of the areas besides, you know, there's a lot of areas that I want to do that are out of my comfort zone, but the one area I wanted to share just in this video is that I do intensives. I've been doing this since 2012 and I've been helping people, you know, go in an intense way to look at what needs to be changed in life. And that's not for everyone, but it's, it is for people who have a lot of trauma, who have a lot of just stuff that it's going to take forever if you do a a something at one you know like one session a week or two it's just like you have this whole pile of crap it's right in front of you and you just want to do something about it right now you want to get a head start on it all so i do something called an intensive where i work with people for a few days up to you know i've worked up with 10 days i'm not sure that's totally necessary but we can work together and when we work together, what we do is we, we go to all those places and we get a big jump start. But I also, um, anybody that I help like that, I do ask them to commit to a follow-up for a minimum of a month, but I like at least three months. Because I know when you go make big changes in your mind and big things change and rewiring everything in your brain, that takes time to settle. And as that settling comes up, there's other layers that come up that have to be addressed. So I'm so super, super excited because this is what I want to focus on. I want to focus and help people who do have a lot of stuff right now and they want to change because they want to be happy. I am a, a, an example of someone who has experienced back in 2004, I had a lot of people. Well, I shouldn't say a lot of people, but I had, I had, well, it was just, the specialist, okay, I worked with him for at least, a, it was about a week every month for a year, and we worked about eight hours a day. And to be honest with you, I, I don't think I could have done it any other way because there was just too much crap. I mean, I'd be 100 years old trying to see somebody on a weekly basis, even though I did that for 20 years and didn't get too far. But because my area, I do have severe trauma, 
and group abuse is that I needed like severe help. And uh, that helped me a great deal. But then tapping is really what changed all the emotional um, pain of all that I had been through. And so anyway, there's a lot that's occurred in, in a very short period of time for me since I have found modalities that work much faster and um, I'm just super grateful for them and because because they have made the biggest difference in my life and has given me hope where I did not once have hope um, that I want to help people and, and let people know that if you have severe severe or a lot of trauma in any form and even if it's group abuse I want you to know there's hope I have enormous amount of, of training skills and I know how to help and so I can't be quiet anymore because it makes uh, people feel uncomfortable. So I am going to be speaking a lot on helping people in places where, where it's not talked about a lot and practitioners that don't really have experience to help people with severe trauma. And that's really in any field. There's not a lot. And that, there is, again, why I say that I'm a prime example. I could not find the help I needed. And I cannot tell you how many people I have heard in certain areas. They're like, you know what? I can't get the help I need. I don't know where to go. What should I do? And so it's time for me to make that new change in my life to go and share what I have because it's enormous amount of wisdom, skills, and help and knowledge that I can help people. And I want to, for those practitioners around the world who do want to help people who do have issues that are really difficult to deal with. I want to train them on how to help. And anyway, I hope that when you are presented with times in your life to change that aren't fun, please take heed to that. And listen to what the universe, your, your unconscious mind is trying to do. Don't run, don't try to hide because it's never gonna work anyway. And it just prolongs the suffering when you could be learning, growing, and becoming, and going to the next place you want to go. And that might mean simply as, I hate my job. I can't stand it. And I want to do what I, what I love. It makes me happy. Or it's a relationship you've been into way too long and you're miserable. Or it's you don't know what to do with yourself, completely lost, depressed. You're angry at God. You're angry at the universe because you don't know what to do. It's all of those things take the opportunity to change. I will look forward to hearing from you. If you need help in any way, questions, just contact me um, either through this email or you can connect to me on my website, which is laurajworley.com. So take care. And I'm just really excited for the change that's coming that I've been going through and where it's going to lead. And I want that same change for you. So take care.